My name is Mrs. Young. I like to make videos to teach you new things and to help you remember the things you already know. I'm glad you're here today. Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope you are all doing great. Today is Tuesday, February 20th in the year 2024. And if we look at our calendar, we are on Tuesday, February 20th in the year 2024. We have finished one, two full weeks of February, plus a couple of days at the beginning and a couple of the month and a couple of days at the beginning of this week. So February is moving along. Yesterday was President's Day. Many of you may have had off from school or work. And we don't have any other holidays in February, except it's not a holiday, but we have an extra day at the end of the month, February 29th, because it is leap year. And we talked about that in an earlier video. So you may notice that everything looks different today. Lots of things have happened and I've had to change my plans. And I did not have time to make a regular lesson like we usually have. So next week, we will do our lesson about Black History Month, which we were going to do today. But instead, today, we're going to talk about some confusing phrases that sometimes people say that have a different meaning than what the word is really supposed to mean or the words or the phrases. So the fancy name for that is an idiom. And sometimes those words that don't have the meaning that the words are really supposed to have are very confusing. I have coffee mug here today. And inside the coffee mug, I have some phrases that are like the ones that I just described. And I'm going to read each one. And then I want you guys to think about it. And think if think about if you know what it means. Okay? All right. So the first one that I picked says, oh, it's a piece of cake. So, if I said, oh, come on, you can do it, it's a piece of cake. Do I mean that I'm supposed to do something and I'm supposed to also eat a piece of cake? That seems confusing. No, what a piece of cake means is it's an expression or a phrase or a way to say, oh, it's easy. So if I said, why don't you try to do five jumping jacks? It's a piece of cake. What I'm saying is doing five jumping jacks is really pretty easy. So next time you say, next time you hear someone say it's a piece of cake, what they're really trying to say is it's not hard. It's very easy. Okay, ready for the next one? All right. The next one is break a leg. Hmm. So if someone said to me, I was going to sing some karaoke or I was going to be in a play or I was going to do some athletic competition at Special Olympics and someone said to me, break a leg, does that mean that they want me to break my leg and hurt myself? No. That is just their way of saying, good luck, you can do it. You can be strong and you can do it and you can be brave and you can do it. It's kind of a strange way to say good luck, isn't it? <laughs> but they don't mean that you. they really want you to break a leg. That's just one of those confusing phrases. All right, next one. Are you ready? Let's see. Oh, this is a good one because that's what it's doing at my house today. Raining cats and dogs. Does that mean that cats and dogs are coming down from the sky? 
if someone says it's raining cats and dogs? No, cats and dogs obviously cannot come down from the sky. So if someone says it's raining cats and dogs, that just means that it's raining very hard. And it is raining very hard today at my house. So I could say to you guys, huh, guys, it's raining cats and dogs today. All right, you ready for the next one? Okay, let's see. Oh, this is a good one. This one says cold feet. So, what if I said, oh yeah, I was going to ride the roller coaster at the amusement park, but I got cold feet. Does that mean that my feet suddenly got freezing and I wanted to put on a pair of socks? No, when someone says they get cold feet, that means that they just get nervous and they get scared. So if I said, oh my goodness, I was going to go on that roller coaster, but I got cold feet, that just means, hmm, no, I got scared at the last minute and decided, mm -mm, I don't want to do that. No, thank you. This one is, it's not my cup of tea. So if I said, oh, I want to watch a horror movie, and then someone said, oh, Mm, it's just not, horror movies, not my cup of tea. What do you think they mean? Do they mean we're supposed to drink a cup of tea while we watch a horror movie? No, they just mean if it's not my cup of tea, that just means I know it's not something that I really like. So it's not that you have to drink a cup of tea. It just means um, it's something that's just not your favorite. Okay, guys, so those are some confusing phrases that people sometimes say that mean something different than what the words actually are supposed to mean. So just try to remember some of these phrases next time you're in a conversation so you don't get confused. Like I said, this isn't our normal video today, uh, but next week we'll be back on track. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I will see you next Tuesday in our next video. Bye.